you know, another fight week. Big crowd this time. There's no Apex shows. We're back in front of fans. How are you feeling heading into this one Saturday? Oh, I feel super excited. You know, it's been a while. Um, it's like been uh, 2019, I think, my last time fighting on the front of the crowd. So I've been waiting for that. Um, it, it's it, it's nothing to complain about fighting the Apex, you know. Like, it, but it's a different environment. You know, it's a different feeling when you're there. Uh, you can hear everything. You can hear your own your, your opening coach. But uh, when you fight in front of the crowd, the, the, the emotions are different. The, 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 the energy is, is complete, uh, indescribable. So I feel that it, it brings the best of me, you know, bring, bring that the motivation, bring that energy, the, like the energy I have right now to be fighting on, on, on this side in front of the uh, – Missouri crowd, it's something like I, I'm really looking for, and I'm really excited to have that energy on, on here today. Nice, man. You're fighting Rebecca. How much do you know about him as, a, as an opponent, and what are you expecting him to come in like on Saturday? Um, I, I, it, it's hard to know a lot about him because he, he's a really coming up fighter, you know, and in the last three fights he have in the UFC, and he, it's knockouts, finishes, and, and submissions. So... Uh, expecting a, a, a lot of him. Expecting him come forward, coming strong. You know, he's a, a, com, a, a, a um, well-known fight fighter of. Uh, uh, um, forgot his name. His contract. I'm sorry, like uh, right now. Um, but he have 19 fights. You know, one loss, maybe 10 years. You know, uh, along his career. Um, but uh, he never fought nobody like a. On like an UFC, like how we've been here for longer, so we we will mature. Like uh, I, I've been fighting with the guys, top rankings, you know, like uh, just for year, uh, all the bases. So I think on, on that, I, I, I take a upper hand on him, you know, and I know he's a really hunger fighter right now. I think m my point right now is be more uh, mature, my more more smart on inside the cage because I know. He he don't have that feeling yet. yet taking all the two three rounds, I've been there for the three rounds uh, already. I see the you know how it, it the lights sometimes or the the crowd affect you. But I think in that part, I think I I'll be ready for 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 take him on, on that Saturday night. You talk about the experience then. How I think for us sometimes we don't understand how much a difference experience can give you. You know, when you look at yourself as a fighter from early to now and how you've had all these fights in between, how much have you learned over the years and what do you think younger fighters don't understand about experience? And enjoying the moment, you know, because uh, before when I got here I was the same way. I was ten and no, I didn't have a no idea how enjoy the moment it was you know I, I for me I was just Saturday night but now I can feel it this this energy from through the whole week five week you know getting here do do my median time talking to everyone it, it's it, it's really good and, and when you get to the Saturday night when you like you get to the locker room you know you have you have the, the energy from the crowd like the way we're talking about and I don't know how he is feeling right now about that, but I want to have the feeling. No, I ha I want to have the, the butterfly. I want to have the nerves to get there, to to step inside the cage and see all the lights around you. I think that 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 it's affect uh, really the you know the guy don't have the experience on, about fighting onto that cage. Especially, I really don't know what type of cage we have. Uh, to fight right now, I don't know if it's the the small cage or is the bigger one. I uh, really don't know. I think in the arena it's a bigger one. It's a bigger one, so I, I, that that's gonna be a lot of the difference. Now I know he's used to, to fight in the apex, the small the small cage. So I think uh, 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 that you know it, it it's take the experience off of the, the 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 surround you like the the, the, the be on that, that size of, of the cage. So my 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 thing was on the beginning I didn't have that that experience and then today like now I do have I do enjoy the moment enjoy the that the feeling of the Saturday night. I know it's a cliche question, but it's one I'm going to ask. And uh, how exactly do you see yourself getting this win? Uh, 
I think it, uh, one of my dreams right now, you know, it's uh, getting to the to 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 fight again on on the ranking, you know, fighting fighting for the belt one day, you know. Uh, I want to take one step at a time. I know he's uh, he's on uh, he's in front of me right now. He Matos is in front of me, so I want to. After the hand, I want to fight someone in, in the ranking. If it cannot be, you know, Bob Green, you know, it'll be good to fight with him too. And uh, if not, I want to have my rematch, if it be possible, with uh, uh, Graham Rock. You know, when the guy beat me, I don't take that, that, that win off him. He beat me that night. He was better than me on that night. But uh, I'm expecting, you know, see him along the way, getting back. I'm kind of coming back to the ranking, so... That's what my focus right now. That's what my really my my 100% focus on to get that win this Saturday. I just want to kind of expand on that question. Do you kind of see yourself as a dark horse in this division? Because look, I mean, looking at your record, the only real losses are to the top guys like Darius, Poye, Gamrot. So, are you a guy that that people shouldn't be sleeping on right now? I'm used to that, you know. I'm used to people like uh, Andres, they made me, you know. And I, I've been working really hard. I, I've been putting my work. I've been putting uh, the time on the, on the cage. I've been, you know, I see a lot every time. I'm always uh, the underdog, you know. Everybody count on that. Like, be, be, uh, be underestimate me, but... I feel that's what motivates me, you know. That's what what driving me to to get what I want, to really trying to uh, reach my goals, you know. Especially being a one year away, you know, from the cage, been fighting, but I'm been competing in, in jiu-jitsu and all all the aspect to try and make myself better. So it, it's it, it always helped that. They always underestimate me, and that's what I'm saying. It's motivated me every single time to get into the gym, you know, get through the, got to the dark part, the dark side, you know, to thinking about ah, oh, I still, I still can do this or not, you know, it's still like my career, how 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 long I have more, but, you know, since I'm when I put my head on the, on the pillow, thinking about like no, I I still have the energy, I still have the motivation, my kids. My family count on me, you know. My coaches, my 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 all the members uh, of who follow me, it, it still count on me in that way. So it still count on me to get somewhere else what I want. So um, I I expect that. I want I want people thinking I'm not I'm not I don't deserve to be there. I'm not the the guy don't have the the energy to be there. So I'm using that motivation that the the. The negativity, I think it's not that negativity, but I'm using that like a, a, a to push myself, you know. I use it that people thinking about I'm not not belong there no more. I use that as a motivation for me. What makes you more nervous, walking into the octagon or watching your kids compete? Oh, watching my kids compete, brother. <laughs> I, I, I feel in love what I do, you know. It's I feel so much, but oh, doing watching my kids competing, it's. I feel my armpits sweating, my feet is sweating, my hands are shaking, you know. And exactly that another week, my son competed uh, at ADCC, you know, uh, past month, I think. And and, and watching him, you know, having the love I do have into the competition, it's an incredible, you know. But it's still, I still have been nervous because, I, oh, he's going to do good. How he's going to do, you know. It's it, – but – I, I know he have to, he had to follow pass uh, his pass, you know, and I have to believe on him, and I do. But oh man, it's always it, it's get more nervous to watch and then competing than I, I, I when I'm competing. And uh, last one for me, we we know about your skills in the octagon, but how skilled are you with a firearm? The what? With a firearm, I see lots of. Uh, oh no, I'm not, that's a I I I I think I'm. I'm all right, you know. I'm, gonna, <laughs> I'm all right, and uh, one of the most thing I I like I like to to play Call of Duty, you know. And so I'm a big fan on that. Like I feel sometimes when I go to the range, I say, okay, that that's my time. And like the, I see I see the target. That's what I need to train. But I'm I'm a this this, you know. I I I can't handle. I can't handle a little, little pressure. And one thing I do like the type of 
more uh, tactical stuff, you know, like I think get inside, you know, do push ups and run, carry a, a tire, you know, do things that work out and then trying to shoot. It's something really, it, 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 it's something really distracts from me. And then, and another one too. I like ride bikes, you know, and, and so I think all those, uh, uh, how can I say, uh, Sports I have, you know, combat sports, transition to that, like, it, it's something really, like, I, I love it, you know. I, I never thought I have a, a gun. I never thought I have a firearm in my life. Never thought. I thought I was always having a, you know, this is what I need. But it, it, when you have a family, you have to be thinking about securing your family. So training like that, it's always important for me and thinking about, like, okay, not that because we're going to need it one day, but... It's something I can distract off, of like you know, off of, off of the MMA, off training jiu-jitsu, training all the aspects of sports. But I, I really love it, you know. I, I think I'm pretty, I'm pretty good, you know. <laughs> Diego, right here. Mm -hmm. So your team at Fortis MMA recently had a great night at the Apex on April 6th. They went two and zero. Alex Morono and Damon Jackson both took home wins for the team. How does that success from your team? help you and give you a little bit of extra motivation going into your fights oh man it, it's motivated me a lot because um you know we trained together for a long time me jamie jackson and and um, alex moreno you know he was those favorite guys that i like to train so seeing those guys pushing themselves being inside the apex being putting the work putting putting all the energy in there and it kind of Attacked, attracted me to to push myself, you know. Like I, 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 I feel like, and exactly, Moreno is gonna be in my corner, you know. Coach Safe is not gonna be able to come, you know. We have a a, a family reunion, and uh, it's kind of the good energy reflecting me, you know, and feel more like okay, my my team's here. I I need to really push myself. Give. Get get the energy from them, gather the guidance from them, to to get that win is gonna motivate me more inside uh, inside the cage on a Saturday night. So it, it's it's incredible, you know. Especially because we 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 come from a from a small gym, you know. We come from like really small gyms, and, and see now we're going so much as an athlete and being on UFC in a big stage of 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 of, of a career. It, it's something. Like I'm not gonna say it. it's not jealousy, but it's something you you like to see from your team. You know, you like to because that's what you're gonna want to reach to. You know, you want to reach uh, uh, beyond that. So it, it, it's it, it's something really uh, uh, involved me to be a teammate, involved to me fall in love with uh, what they're doing right now, and you want to do the same. No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs>